The Duchess of Malfi, to me, is a play about male rage at female empowerment and what goes wrong when men try to control the women they love. What made me interested in adapting it is I think that Webster's original play has a lot to say about um, women and control of women, but I think in the context of now, when there is a conversation going on in society about how we treat women and representation of women, that there was a really good dialogue between the original text and our times. When you approach any adaptation, lots of things have to be happening. One is that you have a real love for the original text, but another is that you think that there's something that you can bring. And here I felt that at the core of the play there is a woman who is controlled and trapped, but there's also a range of men around her who are making choices. And I wanted to use those characters to sort of explore different versions of masculinity so that the play kind of asks the question, why do we make the choices that we make and how could we make better ones? Webster seems to be almost a proto-feminist ahead of his time. The message of his play is very much, you know, at your peril do you destroy women. This play shows how people kind of get themselves into a tragic cul-de-sac but there are lots of opportunities where different choices could be made and, and right at the end that sort of hope is explored. Mm -hmm.